What's going on, people? We welcome you to the Ghana Art Family. It is time for evolution. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to separate your traditional artwork from your background uh, uh, art from the white background so that you have uh, you're able to separate your line work from the background art. So, right now, this is just a scanned image. You can see it's pretty dirty. There's some pencil marks here and there. So, if you wanted to clean it up, you know, but, well, the main objective here is just to make the your darks darker and your whites whiter so you can come here go to go to these four usually these four help with turning something dark to light it, it helps increasing the darkness or the lights these four when you come to image adjustments and clicking in either one of these four the main things that i use is brightness and contrast levels and curves so right now we're going to be using brightness and contrast uh put your contrast to 100 you can do this multiple times, multiple times as you, you know, put your contrast to 100, 100. And again, so you want to have your darks darker and your lights lighter. Or, you know, you can do this one or three times to brighten the contrast. So you can come to curves, curves, and then, you know, just make a, a simple little S curve to like balance out your darks and lights. So. And I also have a separate tutorial on how to, you know, do how to scan color or how to how to scan black and white images. I'll, I'll have a link in the description down below. And so right now you can see that it's you know it's good. It's it's, it's dark and it's, it's it's really dark and it's and it's really white. And there's some like pencil marks that you can clean up with you know the eraser tool. But right now I'm going to show you guys a different example of something I already have like set. So, so right now this is a, a another page. Uh, this is like from a comic I did, and this is from this is the the digital painting version, right? So for when I was doing this, I didn't use any screen tones. It was just black and white. So I'm going to show you guys you know how to set up your how to separate your line work from the background art so that it's more, uh, you know, more customizable for you when you are doing digital uh, painting. You have more leeway, and you're not stuck on the background art. So this is what I use to like color for the digital painting. This is like the, the base right here. So right now I'm going to show you guys, you know. I already showed you guys to make your your, your your line work darker and your whites whiter. So this is what I did here. Same method I did for this page I use for, for this one. And so what you want to do now is come to, actually you want to come to select. Yeah, select all and just select just select everything. You don't have to be specific. Just say select all. You don't have to select each individual line. You know, just select the entire canvas, right? And go to edit and then cut. And when you go to cut, hold up, it's just loading. It's loading. But when you go to cut, you're going to want to go to the quick mass mode. Yeah, quick mass mode. And it's like down here. It's like a looks like a empty screen with dotted circles and then if you hover above it it'll say quick math but yeah you want to go to quick mass modes and, and how do you know that you're in quick mass mode is if your layer is highlighted red so if your layer is highlighted red you're in quick mass mode so you go to edit and then you go to paste and as you as you have as you have it pasted right now uh, can see that you know now it's in red so it's kind of it's kind of leaving out your white parts and it's paying more attention to the dark parts right so what you want to do is exit out of quick mass mode so when you exit out of quick mass mode the 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 parts the 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 parts that the, that that were once dark are now selected and now however even though they are selected, you want to make sure you fill it, fill the your dark lines with the fill tool or dark tool. You know. So what you want to do is come to the this paint bucket tool, and and also you want to make sure that this is an inverse. You you, you select inverse because if you don't select inverse, it's gonna just paste onto like 
just the like the outside of that layer and you don't want it to have do this you want to make sure you paste inside of your lines right so i'm going to undo that and as i have the my quick bucket tool i'm going to use i'm going to go up here and hit select and go to the inverse and when you go to the inverse now you're selecting within the line so if you use your your, your paint bucket tool now and it's taking some time but yeah if you use your paint bucket tool you can do that and you can do some you know extra make it dark but uh yeah this is this is where where it goes and now i'm hitting now i'm clicking deselect and now you can see that uh we have we have successfully separated our line work from the background white art the, the background uh, the white background right so if you wanted to make a make a, a, a white background and separate it, you can come just make a new layer and hit white and and yeah just paste and then you'll have a a white background and you want to make sure that your white background is underneath your line work your traditional line work layer. So if I made this disappear, you know, it doesn't like uh, really. It, you know it, it doesn't really affect it it's pretty much like separated from each other so this would be very useful when you're doing digital uh, painting and to categorize certain things more successfully and to have more more leeway when it comes to editing things so yeah that'll be the video thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video feel free to leave a like and peace